All right, so we have our credentials set up to now talk to, to VMware and Amazon EC2 in Cloud Provisioner in Puppet Enterprise 2. Um, so to review, we've added these to the tilde.fog file and for VMware, we have a username and a password and the vCenter server to talk to. And then we verify the authenticity that we're actually talking to the right server using the hash of its public key. And that this was first displayed to us the first time that we tried to connect. Um, so I'd like to go through the process of terminating a VMware instance. Um, this is similar to terminating an EC2 instance. But first I'm going to um, list the instances that I have in this um, templates folder in our solutions data center. Um, the reason I'm using the folder option is, again, this is um, faster than listing all of the virtual machines in the entire infrastructure. And you'll also notice here, um, it doesn't actually take 10 minutes, but that's the maximum amount of time that we'll wait before turning, um, turning things back over to you. Uh, so I have this Jeff delete me instance that I want to delete. So I'm going to copy this path and then we're going to do um, puppet node VMware terminate. So let's look at the help for that. And really it just takes the path to the virtual machine um, that we should be deleted. Now, again, it is important to remember um, this is more destructive than this simply stopping the virtual machine. We will actually clean up and, and delete the disk images um, in the data store in VMware. So let's go ahead and try this now. And that's it. Um, you can see that we went ahead and found the virtual machine and then destroyed it. Um, if that virtual machine were currently running and it had the VMware guest tools installed, we would stop the virtual machine before deleting um, the disk images from the data store. Um, so finally, we can verify that this worked correctly by just doing another list action to see what virtual machines and templates we have in that folder. And so you can see the, the Jeff delete me um, virtual machine has been removed. So that's it for the terminate action.